Hi everyone, Martin here. Welcome to the Inner Loop. In this episode, we're going to make a ting. So here I'm making a little flat plate with a 3D pen. Out of plastic. I like to make them on paper because it gives you a really smooth flat surface. Okay, I've turned it over now and I'm, I'm just reinforcing it because I want it to be a nice, rigid, flat plate. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding on the sides, I'm adding some some sides to it to make it into actually a box. By doing it down on the glass, it makes it really smooth. You'll see it gives you a really smooth edge. And you'll see why that's important later. Tidying up with a pair of scissors, reinforcing it here and there. Now making another edge. They're great, these 3D pens. I, I recommend them to anybody who wants to be a little bit creative. I mean, why download stuff off the internet when you can do stuff by hand? Okay, a bit of tidying up here. Okay, I've done all four edges now. And now I'm just sort of tidying the corners, making sure it's neat. Right, so I've also added a little frame here. Now I'm trying to work out how to write what a ting. If you haven't come across ZTM Messiah, um, that's what's, it's her, it's her album, What a Ting, or well, certainly the single, that's kind of inspired this build. As you can see, I was really struggling to try and work out how to fit the writing onto the, onto the plate. It turns out that this rectangular shape just doesn't really work. So here I've gone for something that looks a bit like a checklist. So what a ting, what a ting. As you can see for the resolution of the pen, it just doesn't work. So I've given up and gone the other way. Even that didn't work, so I thought about another way of doing it, which is to make like a two-dimensional, a three-dimensional three um, thing with ting and water at different levels, different heights. It's a good thing about this uh, 3D pen is you can always kind of, if it goes wrong, you can always kind of scratch it off and start again. So here I am back to a flat plate again. Now we're going to just mark out the ting. This is my other 3D pen. Um, this one's actually, it's not USB powered. It's got its own separate power supply and it seems to be a lot, it's actually a lot quicker. I've used it extensively. I, I love this pen. A bit tidying up, and we have a ting. Now here I am, I'm rolling out a bit of plasticine and squishing it in. I need to be able to get this back out again, so instead of squishing it deeply, and I'm, I'm just adding the sides here. pair of pliers, pull it out, and now we have a mould. A 
bit of orange paint. This is light water soluble gouache. You can tell I measured this uh, all very accurately. Plaster Paris. A bit more water. In it goes into the mould. Little wiggle around, Get the bubbles out. Here's that thing 24 hours later. Out it comes. Previous versions of this, uh, this is the point where I've snapped it in half. So it doesn't do to rush this part of the process. It needs to set for a good 24 hours. You can see the edges on this are actually quite rough. It needed a bit of kind of filing off on the patio outside to get the edges nice and flat and square. The thing about this process is though it's repeatable. You can keep making them. Quick lick of paint. I tried here to, to sort of add a sort of shadow on the edge. But it actually ended up looking a bit just a bit dirty. Marvellous thing, hot glue guns. I bought some magnets from Amazon. I expect them to be a bit bigger than that. You can see here I've, I've, I've tidied the blue up. And now I'm just whacking a bit of gold mica sort of pigment on there. Just to give it a bit of a sort of antique -y so look. Now I'm adding a bit of um, sort of clear varnish, which kind of not only does it strengthen the plaster, it also gives it a bit more of a luster. it all around. Then leave it to dry overnight. Next morning, there it is. The exciting thing about this tin is it's actually stuck on Zetia's fridge. If you want to see the um, the full video for what a thing. Uh, I've put a link to the Spotify version down below. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on the In The Loop.